Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the circuit and we have been asked to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage as well as the Thevenin's equivalent resistance across these two terminals. So first of all, let us find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage across these two terminals. Let's say this voltage is equal to VTH and the same voltage will also appear across these two terminals. That means the voltage at this node is also equal to VTH. So now to find this voltage VTH, let us apply the KCL equation at this node. So if we apply the KCL equation, then we can write current I1 plus 99I1 is equal to 0. Because here as these two terminals are open circuited, so no current will flow in this direction. That means from this we can say that 100I1 is equal to 0 or I1 is equal to 0. Now here this current I1 can be given as 1 volt minus VTH divided by 1 kilo ohm. And as this current I1 is equal to 0, so from this expression we can say that voltage VTH is equal to 1 volt. That means the Thevenin's equivalent voltage across these two terminals A and B is equal to 1 volt. So similarly, now let us find out the Thevenin's resistance. Now here, as the circuit contains both independent as well as a dependent source, so to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, first of all we will find the short circuit current. That means we will short these two terminals and we will first of all find the short circuit current. And the ratio of this Thevenin's equivalent voltage to this short circuit current will give us the Thevenin's resistance. So for that, first of all let us find this short circuit current. And to find this short circuit current, once again let us apply the KCL equation at this node. So if we apply the KCL equation, then we can write current I1 plus 99I1 is equal to ISC. That means this short circuit current is equal to 100 times I1. Now here, let's say this node is the reference node. So when we short circuit these two terminals, then this node over here will be also at the ground potential. That means here, this current I1 can be given as 1 volt minus 0 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm. That is equal to 1 milliampere. And hence, this short circuit current ISC is equal to 100 times I1 that is equal to 0.1 ampere. That means here, this Thevenin's equivalent voltage is equal to 1 volt, while this short circuit current is equal to 0.1 ampere. That means the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is equal to 1 volt divided by 0.1 ampere, that is equal to 10 ohm. That means for the given circuit, the Thevenin's equivalent voltage is equal to 1 volt, while the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is equal to 10 ohm. And hence, D is the correct answer.